if George Floyd had done his DNA, he was probably a Nigerian by birth. A lot of African Americans are doing their DNA and trying to know where they came from. And you know what? Majority are coming from Nigeria. So here's what we're saying. This kind of thing that happened is not acceptable anywhere in the world. But most importantly for us as Africans in Africa, we're telling our brothers and sisters in America, in Brazil, in Jamaica, as long as you're a black man, you are an African. And as long as we all do not work together to build this land of beauty, this continent which should be the best in the world, the world will continue to look down on us as black people. So here's my challenge to every black man in the world. Have a connection with the motherland. Your motherland, where you all came from, will show you love, affection, emotions. And the good thing is, here in Nigeria, we've opened a symbolic door for every black person. It's a door that gives a physical connection, an emotional connection, a spiritual connection, and an economic connection. And we're saying to every black person, wherever you are, come to the motherland. Invest in the motherland. This is home. If the Chinese are investing here, the Indians are doing the same thing. Why not our, black, our brothers and sisters in America? So I hope that with all what is going on all over the world, they look back at the African continent where they came from. Today, we're sharing thoughts on that great black man of 46 years old. You can imagine a George Floyd at 46 is silent and silent forever. With very heavy heart this evening, NCAC and Nigerian Diaspora and Commission come together and join other countries of the world to say we have solidarity for George Floyd. It is a wicked world we are living in, but we should realize something. Our culture is about love, about respect for human dignity, but that was absent the day George Floyd was kept silent and silent forever. But I want to assure you, with the connection this evening, of this great commission and NCAC, it's a new message to the world that enough is enough. We must have a change of heart. Things have to change. George Floyd has paid a price, but that price must be recognized by all blacks all over the world. I am sure with the kind of expression the blacks have expressed in the last few days, it can never be the same again. And another George Floyd will never come again. We will celebrate the best of Africans and ourselves. Breathe. I can't breathe.